Hey, what's up, guys? Um, welcome to our WWE Friday Night SmackDown preview for January tenth, two thousand fourteen. I am here with one of my best friends, Slurpy Dude. What's up, man? What's up? We're here, and we're gonna do an, a special, very actually special preview. With Anana Klana. Because normally when we do our previews, they're alone. But today we're together, and we're gonna, um, you you're gonna have both of our views and opinions in the same video, um, at once. So, uh, let let's start. So, start. you want you want me to start? You can start, buddy. Okay, so we're gonna have the Wyatt family versus the. Usos. Now, if you remember on Old School Raw, we had the Wyatt fan. Well, we had um, Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, and Daniel Bryan, the newest member of the Wyatt family, versus the Usos and Rey Mysterio. And, and, th and Daniel the Bryan Usos. With his new suit. Oh. Yeah, and Daniel Bryan looks like so weird with his new suit. He looks like Eric Rowan. Yeah. And, um,. The Usos and Rey Mysterio were able to pick up the win against the White Family. Um, and now we're going to have a rematch, except it's just going to be two on two. We don't know which two from the White Family will be fighting, but we know two of them will. So you're up next, Adrian, with the next one. Okay, match. so next we got Fandango versus Xavier Woods. I think on I think last Monday or a SmackDown on Anaconda did it um like Fandango Girls versus R Truth or something some something like sure. that no yeah, it something was like that. I think it was Fandango oh. versus Xavier Woods on like main event or something okay but I didn't watch main event so we'll have Fandango versus Xavier Woods and. Anon, do you know something I don't think that's really fair? That Xavier Woods, now um, when R-Truth is like in a match versus someone, Fandango always says, um, he's always like, okay, come on, bring out the girls, bring out the girls. And then the girls just come out and yeah. the opponent gets distracted and yeah. R-Truth wins. Xavier Woods always does that. So, Sorry, sorry, sorry about that, guys. That was just my sister being, um, she was interrupting me. But anyway, uh, then the next match is Rey Mysterio, Sin Cara, and Los Matadores versus Ryback, Curtis Axel, and the Real Americans. Heck, that's gonna be a great match. Okay, guys, um, I'll be right back, okay? So guys, since Anon's gonna be like back, I guess I'll take over with the Rey Mysterio. So it's gonna be a uh, six man. No, sorry actually... about that, guys. Um, sorry. So yeah, we had Rey Mysterio, Sin Cara, Los and Los Matadores versus Ryback, Curtis Axel, and the Real Americans. Um, That's gonna be a great match. This is gonna match. be a great four on four, eight man tag team match. So Especially you take with, it like, with the... the next one, Adrian. Especially with the Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara, because they're both like really fast. So yeah. then we got CM Punk and the New Age Outlaws versus the Shield, which I think will be the match of the night. Trust me, um, CM Punk, New Age Outlaws versus the Shield. So take take it away, Adrian. What do you think about this match? Um, I think it's gonna be a great match, you know, because the. I think the New Age Outlaws and CM Punk should make. I think CM Punk should join the New Age Outlaws because I think like I don't know like they're all friends and they fight all good so you know and I don't know if the New Age Outlaws ever had something like with the Shield because I haven't. I the last time no, I no they never the did the first time. They so yeah, I think. Did Anaconda did the New Age Outlaws ever like have? Like, in the past, when they used to fight, did CM Punk be friends with them or something? No, what, because CM Punk came after the New Age Outlaws, because, because the, the New Age Outlaws fought in the Attitude Era back in the 90s. So, oh. um, 
and the shield only came in 2012 so they never had anything to do with each other except for now maybe cm punk and the new age outlaws were friends backstage or something i don't know but they never really showed that friendship on the show besides for on old school raw when they came back to help cm punk against the shield um, well, guys, it's that I haven't really seen WWE. The first time I ever saw it was like in last November in 2013. So, well, um, yeah. So I think CM Punk should join the New Age Outlaws. If the New Age Outlaws are gonna start fighting again, are are they gonna start fighting? I like personally don't think he should, and I don't want to start an argument here because we're friends. But um. I personally don't think he should because the New Age Outlaws are not coming back for a long time. They're just coming back to help CM Punk with, his sh with well, the shield. I'm and saying, when he's done with I'm that, he's gone. I'm They're saying, gone. like, if they would stay, if the New Age Outlaws would stay. So. Oh, well, then maybe he shouldn't join them, but he should be close close friends with them. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And uh, team with them. Fight very yeah, often versus the shield you know yeah yeah versus the shield the wide family all those guys so i'm i'm with the next match right i'm the next match yep. okay this is so, going to be a great match this is going to yeah. be perfect the so the next match it's Randy Orton versus Big E Langston i personally am not very excited for this match um ba basically because uh i don't like Randy Orton I think he's a very, like, he's getting boring. Let me just say that. He used to be this awesome, this big viper. He he always used to strike at people out of nowhere. And now he's just getting very, uh, he's, his character is getting more blank and uh, more boring. Um, also, yeah, that not... he's just getting more boring to me. Kind of like Alberto Del Rio. He's the most... Yeah. boring wrestler he has no character no fighting style no nothing in he our just, opinion yeah in, in our, our opinion, opinion. So, uh, no offense to, to those del rio fans who i personally don't think there are any but but to but to those very few no offense to you but anyway, Randy Orton versus Biggie Langston looks to be an okay match. Of course, I'm always uh, on uh, Biggie Langston's side against Randy Orton. What are your thoughts on the match, Adrian? Well, I think, yeah, obviously Randy Orton's going to be boring. But, yeah, he's boring. But it's that he's a really good wrestler, you know. And Biggie Langston is good, too. Like, he's explosive and he's amazing. So, it's going to be good. And, and like... And keep, I don't know, both of them. And keep this in together. mind, Adrian. Biggie Langston is very new to the WWE. He only came a couple, I think, last year or something. He really? de he debuted in 2012, and Randy Orton's been here since 2001 or 2002. So, uh, uh, Randy Orton has lo lots of experience, while Biggie Langston has very little experience. Um, but... I all I think that I know, Biggie, Biggie Langston, Langston really good, will though. beat Randy Orton unless he strikes out with that RKO out of nowhere. So um. But guys, guys you you want to know something I've never seen in my life? What? Randy Orton lose never. Oh well, it's happened many times. Um. Yeah, it's because he's new to watching WWE, so he's never seen Randy lose. But anyway, guys, I think that's it. Uh, we're going to end this episode here. We're oh, gonna yeah, it is. Not ep episode, end this video here. Um, so I hope you all have a great day. Now, whenever you're watching this, please like the video, share the video, and favorite the video. Um, subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on anything that comes up on the Anonicon channel and Slurpy Dudes channel. Um, uh, have a great day, guys. Make sure to subscribe, and you can do your... Your goodbye, Adrian. So, guys, bye. Thank you again. Well, this is the first time I ever said this from another video, but um, I'm sorry. He's, this is being very impatient. Yeah, he wants to call us. Um, that thank you so much for getting me so many views. 159. That's um, I mean 160. That's amazing, guys. So, guys, bye. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment the video, subscribe with both of us so bye guys yeah
comment. We want to hear your voice. We want to see your opinion. We want to read about it. And we want to yeah. know about our viewers so we can make our videos to suit them and make it so they enjoy it more. So, yeah, guys, uh, are you done, Adrian? Are we done here? Yeah, I'm done. We're done. Okay, so have a great day, guys. Uh, see you later and subscribe.